I think it's very important that architecture be integrated into its environment. And that often requires that the architecture, the interiors, and the landscape be developed in a very harmonious way. What we want to create is environments that enhance people's lives. So the question then becomes, how do you go about doing that? When I approach any project, I am interested in doing something that people are going to really love, really connect with. I think there's different ways of doing that. You can think of uh, spaces and you can think about their proportions, their limits, and how you define their limits. You can affect the way the person experiences the architecture. This film is about a building called Glass. In some ways, it doesn't need a voiceover because by the time it's finished, these 10 custom-built homes that merge seamlessly into the Miami skyline will speak for themselves. What Glass offers that is unique to other developments is that there's one unit of floor. Uh, so each unit has 360 degree views. And also the attention to detail and, and, and the quality of the finishes that this building has is uh, really like no other. It also resides in a location like no other, south of Fifth. In the early 20s, Hardy's Casino made the area, along with Miami Beach itself, synonymous with fashion and leisure. The spirit of progress and optimism of what became the historic Art Deco District is now the bedrock and backdrop of glass. The diversity in architecture, the landscape, the beautiful parks, the wide shoreline, the great restaurants, the great bars. This South of Fifth neighborhood is the perfect neighborhood for a project like glass. David Martin commissioned Rene after his company, Terra Group, took over a halted construction site at 120 Ocean Drive. Assembling a team of world-class designers, planners, and engineers, the team set about breathing new life, not just into the project, but into Miami itself. What I saw was a city that wants to do the best it can, and we wanted to do the right thing. You know, we always start out with an idea, and that idea is what drives the development of the project. In this case, what was important to us was that this building dematerialize as it goes up, that it becomes lighter, that it starts to almost disappear into the sky. We are doing that by using a series of fritted glass panels that will make up the railings and will define the building. Rene is an architect who is very interested in landscape, and I'm a landscape architect who is very interested in architecture. We have very similar design sensibilities as far as what we like, as far as materials. I would think that we're both people who like to use materials of the region, use them in a very simple, clean way. I don't distinguish really between architecture, landscape architecture, and interior design when we're working on a project. I think that they really have to be thought of in a very seamless way. It's easy to take the things around us for granted, but both Raymond and Rene are well known for questioning the way we experience our everyday surroundings. And after all, isn't that what great design is about? Our intention was to create something that had minimum hardscape, maximum plant material, and a real human scale. The whole building is really a glass building. It's made up of sliding glass panels. And that makes it interesting because I think that the building starts to become almost a barometer of the environment. All of this is very subtle. I'm really interested in creating a place that is open and that is limitless and that is very light. And I think that's what creates a very special situation here.